idea of a field turns out to be quite useful. It wasn't just Laplace. In fact, in the minds of physicists, the person whose name is most closely attached to the field concept is Michael Faraday, who gave the lectures right here in this very spot. He said that the way to think about electricity is in terms of the electric field. And that's what we do these days. We talk both about particles and about fields. In one sense, a particle and a field are the opposite of each other, right? A particle is something that has one location. Here's the particle. It's nowhere else. A field is the opposite of that. A field is everywhere. At every point in space, there is a value of the field. So if you look at the picture up here on the left, these are tracks of particles through a cloud chamber. They're individual lines. A particle moves through the chamber and leaves a little trail behind. They're curving because they're moving in a magnetic field. On the picture on the right, there is a magnet. You can't see the field lines directly, but they're traced out by the little iron filings uh, that are in the vicinity of the magnet. So you can visualize the fact that around this magnet, there's an invisible field filling space. So particles and fields are the two things that physicists talk about when we talk about the ingredients that make up reality. And if you have a tiny bit of physics education, you may have come up against the question, is light, for example, a particle or a wave? A wave is sort of a vibration in a field. So what, what is more important? Is it the particle aspect of reality or is it the field aspect of reality? It's fields. That's the answer. It's not a mystery. They always tell you that question. They never tell you the answer. I went decades of my life. <laughs> so what's the answer to this? This is the answer. It's fields. Any questions about that? <laughs> so I'm going to go into a little bit more detail, but not too much. But this is the crucial slide, OK? There's no more information. There's nothing more to come on this slide. Uh, the reason why the Higgs boson as a concept is hard to grasp is because you need to stop thinking of the world in terms of particles. You need to start thinking of it in terms of fields. And you say to yourself, well, but things like this table are made of atoms, and atoms have electrons and so forth in them, and, and the electrons are particles, right? There are particles in the world. No, there aren't. <laughs> That's the secret that we physicists have never told you, but here I am, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, the reason why you're allowed to think of particles is because of quantum mechanics. The world is made of field. 